Are you sick of investing thousands, if not millions, of gold into a single build, then having to start all over again when you play a different class? Would you like a build that works on Stam or Mag with some slight changes, while also being super strong? Well, if you do, stick around, because we're going to discuss it. Alright, so this build's going to be a little bit different, obviously, we're not going to go over skills and that kind of stuff, but I will talk about food choices and some other stuff that I recommend running on this build. Let me know in the comment section if you'd like to see a class-specific video, or even a video where I go over each class and this setup, just the bar setups and that kind of stuff. Let me know in the comment section. The first set that we're running in this build is DJ Trickery. Now this is a great set. It is very versatile and works with any class in the game and also works with Stam and Magic. It's craftable so it's easily attainable and basically it is just an awesome set. Now there is some things you need to keep in mind with this. If you want to get the most out of this set, you need to learn to play around it. So what I mean by that is if you get Major Heroism, then you know you're going to have a lot of alt regen. So if you're running the Bologs version of this build, you know to hold off 9 seconds so you can get that full ultimate build up and you know you'll be good to go. If you get Major Protection and Major Mending, then you know you're going to be super tanky for that period of wind time. So you can be a little bit more aggressive in your playstyle and you know you'll still be okay. If you get Major Expedition, then you know you're going to have high mobility for a short period of time so you can use that to your advantage as well. Really, you need to get used to this so I recommend getting a add-on like Buff timers to help you track which uh, buffs you have up at any given time it really helps you and you know you'll see in my footage that i have this the next set we're running is magma now we're going to go over some alternatives towards the end of the video but this is the main build that i run and i run magma this is another really versatile set and it's going to give us weapon and spell damage and resistances whenever we heal ourselves you can kind of see this build and how it's starting to come together next set is trainee now most people run a one piece trainee but we're running free on this build this is going to give us a lot of max stat and we're not going to have to rely on food necessarily for that max stat third set is kind of where the mag and stam versions are going to differ so on magic you're going to run willpower and on stam you're going to run agility now, some of you guys may have already worked out where this build's going with our free piece sets. There is the mythic and what ties it all together. That is McColden McColden. I'm, I butch the name of it every single time, so I do apologize, but it's up on screen. You can see it. This is going to give us resistances and weapon and spell damage for every free piece. So most people are getting two bonuses out of this, we're getting three out of it. So we're getting a solid chunk of weapon and spell damage and a solid amount of resistances. You can see, you know, we're getting resistances to spell damage from the mythic, we're getting it from our monster helm, then we're obviously getting that versatility from DJ Trickery on our back bar, you know, a good amount of either weapon damage or spell damage and max magic or max stamp from our front bar set some alternatives you can use with this build on your back bar if you want more damage you can run clever alk instead of dj trickery if you want to keep dj trickery but once again want more damage then you could run bollards on your monster helm instead of magma. If you want a crazy hard hitting build, then you could obviously run clever alk and bollards on your front bar. Just keep in mind, bollards isn't a great option for classes like Nightblade and Templar that have really cheap ultimates. And you know, you don't necessarily want to be holding back your ult all the time to build up. Because Bologs is only really good once you get up into the high 200s and above that. In my opinion, if you're going to not keep your ult till past like say 250, 300, you're better off getting Magma. Yeah, it's less damage, but you're also getting resistances from it. Okay, some other things to take into consideration. 
If you do want to swap between Stam and Mag with this build, investing in Triglyphs will make this a whole lot easier for you. And at the very least, even if you want to just play Stam or just play Magic with this build, at least Triglyphing your head, chest and legs is very beneficial for you. Also with Golden Gear, if you can at least gold your weapons, that's going to give you the best return for your money rather than golding your gear out so just consider that in your choices as i said with the trainee we're getting so much max stat from that it opens up other food opportunities so we don't need to run sugar skulls we could run clockwork citrus or takeaway broth these are my go-to's with this build and generally this is going to give us enough sustain at the very least, we only need to run the recovery Mundus. So leading to Mundus, in my opinion, if you do need extra recovery in your build past just food, you're better off going Mundus than running a recovery or two recovery enchants on your jewelry. The recovery Mundus is just giving us the most stats. We're actually getting more than, say, the weapon damage Mundus. Once again, this is up to you. If you'd want to run another one, that's perfectly fine. I think a lot of people should be customizing builds with food, with CP, Mundus choices and all that kind of stuff to suit your playstyle. Now traits on armor, my ghost twos is reinforced on heavy pieces, so like chest and legs, and then I run well fitted on all the rest of my body pieces. In pen, the return on in pen is just so minuscule at the moment. And yes, it's good for crit, high crit damage builds. Problem is, everybody that's not running a crit build, their crit chance is super low, so it's not very beneficial in a lot of fights. So I just think well fitted is a lot better. If you're not much of a roll dodger, then in pen is probably your second best. Or if you like to block a lot, you could also run sturdy. So some other things, vamp at the moment, I think is just too good the disadvantages don't outweigh the positives until they fix health recovery vamp is just the way to go the damage mitigation down low is just really really nice especially when you've got a decent health pool it, it, it's really just a no-brainer as i said if they fix health recovery and then you know you're giving up two or three k health recovery for vamp then we can rediscuss this situation but till then Go vamp, it's awesomely strong. And I think that's just about it, guys. But if you have any questions in regards to like running this build on a specific class and you're unsure about some stuff, feel free to ask me in the comment section or join my streams. I'll have that linked in the description. A shameless plug, we have merch now, boys and girls. So if you want to get yourself a sexy Get Zoss t-shirt or mug or hoodie, then I'll leave that in the description as well. The prices are really cheap. I'm not making much off it. I just thought it would be super cool to, you know, have a Get Zoss t-shirt. Anyway, boys and girls, I love yous as always, and I'll catch yous in the next one. Peace.